Have you ever experienced working on a worksheet and suddenly seeing this error appear? That is called a hash spill error. And you've come to the right video to learn more about it. If you're running a version of Office 365, then you've probably heard of dynamic formulas. They're really great tools for creating your spreadsheets, especially if you want to add a touch of automation to them. But they come with a new type of error that we'll be talking about in this video. With dynamic formulas, you have to remember that all dynamic formulas spill. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, we have a list of random animals. In this cell, we can reference the entire list by typing in equals, then selecting the whole set. We can see that despite only inputting data in one cell, it shows all of the other animals in the list, spilling over the cells below it. We can tell if a group of values is spilling over by looking at the border. As we can see here, the group is highlighted by a blue border. Another way of finding out is through the formula bar. If we select the initial cell, we see that the text is solid. But if we go down the other cells, we can see that the text in the formula bar is grayed out. A hash spill error occurs if there is an obstruction in the cells that the dynamic formula is spilling over. If we add data to one of the cells below, we will get the hash spill error. All we need to resolve it is to simply remove the blockage, and it should spill over just fine. Sometimes, it might not be so obvious that you have a blockage. What if this text was in white font? You wouldn't be able to tell right away what went wrong. Excel has a tool that can help you declog your spill error. Click on the cell that has the spill error you'll see a warning sign appear on the left. Click on this arrow to open the drop-down and click on Select Obstructing Cells. Remove the blockage and it spills. Just note though that the formatting gets applied to the spill text as well. Another common way we could get this error is if you try and reference an entire column. For example, you select the second cell of a column and reference another column on it. You'll get the same error because this column would not align with that column. It can work though if you move it to the very top so that the two columns end up aligning. Although I wouldn't exactly recommend this method because if you have a large set of data, it might take a really long time for this cell to reference that other column. This error is also commonly seen with dynamic array functions like unique, sort, filter, and transpose. Suppose we want to transpose this list, but there's items to the right of it. It returns the hash fill error. Remove the blockage and it's gone. That is a short guide on hash spill errors and how to deal with them. Always remember to declog your spill functions and make sure to check out simplesheets.co for hundreds of Excel templates so you guys don't even need to deal with any type of error in the first place. Leave us a thumbs up if you guys found this video useful and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel for more Excel content. I'll see you guys on the next one.